Good evening there racing fans, welcome back to the channel, brought to you again in association with betting.co.uk. I'm Ginger Joe and I'm back with two selections for you for tomorrow's racing at Newmarket. And I've actually got some more selections as the week goes on, but just the two selections for you in uh, for tomorrow's racing. If you're new to my channel, please do hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a great deal. And by doing so, you do get notified of when my selections do come live here on YouTube. Now, looking forward this week, we've got two selections for tomorrow. On Friday, I do have a lucky 15 for you. Saturday, I've got my usual full list of selections. But for Sunday's racing, there's actually two jumps meetings coming from Perth and from Stratford. So I am going to be bringing you a bonus video this week on Saturday evening. So as I said, don't forget to hit subscribe to this video to make sure you're notified of when those selections go live. Now, before I go on to tomorrow's selections, uh, provided by betting.co.uk, we've got an offer from BetUK, where if you bet just £10, you will get £30 in free bets using the Ginger Joe link in the description below. But we're going to go straight on to tomorrow's action now, and I've got two each way selections for you. The first comes in the 225 at Newmarket, which is the Bahrain July Stakes. It's a group two over six furlongs, and it actually looks like a race full of potential uh, this year. Andrew Bolin's personal arc is the current five to two favourite, having won pretty impressively on his debut at Newmarket, but uh, at Haydock, sorry. But it wasn't necessarily the strongest of races that day, and he's definitely going to need a good deal more to get the job this time out. Now, that may happen. Uh, however, I do think there's a few that could surpass him at this stage in his career. Mountain Bear is definitely one of them. He represents Bally Doyle, but even though I think he's a very improved horse for his run at the Curra, I still think he's another that probably needs to improve a little bit more to get the job done here. The one I think is the main danger is Malk. He was second in the Norfolk Stakes at Royal Ascot and should actually improve for the step up and trip here as well. I think he's going to take some beating in this race. However, I do think the one to side with will be Charlie Hill's runner here. Chief Man Carter won really nicely on debut, seemingly progressed nicely as the race went on as well. And he is definitely a rather flashy cot. He was withdrawn in the Coventry when he was pretty well fancied after getting a little bit heated up in the stalls. But I think he's got bags of potential and I think he's going to improve a lot again. He will need to settle better this time for sure. He's definitely one that seems to get a bit heated early on. But I think that's been factored into his price this time out. And he's definitely one that's been learning on the job. So I think there's a lot of improvement to come for him second time out and his second start at the track. He clearly handles the ground and his form has actually been franked a few times from the runners in behind him on his debut. And I think that he's the one that's going to surpass his rivals this time out. As mentioned, he's a very flashy colt, so even though he's 13-2, to two, he gets quite lit up. So I imagine the each-way angle is probably the way to go here, just to keep it a little bit on the safe side. But he definitely holds major claims on what we've seen so far. The only angle that may get in his way is his attitude, but he's absolutely the one to side with in the July stakes. I think he's got a really good opportunity at 13-2. to Show plenty of class on his debut, and he's very much likely to come on again for that race as well. Moving on to the three o'clock in Newmarket, we've got a pretty decent handicap here, the Bet365 Heritage Handicap over six furlongs. Again, this is a really interesting race. At the top of the market, we've got a few that have formed quite closely tied in with one another. We've got Washington Heights as the five to one favorite. Definitely got an obvious chance here, but so does Kinholt, who beat him out last time. And even though there's a slight swing in the weights, they still remain very closely matched on what we've seen. Out of the runners at the head of the market, I think Frankness is actually the one who's going to hold the main danger. She was actually really slowly away last time out, but got really good as the race went on, finding traffic problems, which didn't help her at all, and only finished five lengths back of the eventual winner. Provided things go a little bit smoother for her this time, I think she's going to have a really, really big say. This being said, with plenty of places on offer this time, I think it could be worth siding with the Aidan Kelly... Um, the one Aidan Kelly's on board here, Ferris for Jack Shannon. A three-year-old colt here, seemingly well handicapped with Aidan Kelly, taken off a further three pounds. And I actually think this one is going to be doing much better this time out as well. Only has four lengths to fight with the Commonwealth Cup winner Shaquille. And he was obviously improving a hell of a lot when they last met. And that was over course and distance here in May. So that course on May stack up really nicely for Ferris this time out. He actually backed it up really nicely too by beating Pure Angel over a shorter trip next time out. And he was then slowly away at Windsor when he was sent off favour. Really well fancy, but he was always going to find it difficult to get back on terms that day. Absolutely forgivable that day though. I do think he's going to come back to six furlongs here. Much better form. And he's actually been given a really good chance here each way. I think if he went on and won last time out, his handicap mark may have been dented a little bit too much. But this is a three-year-old. Definitely not still 
Definitely still hasn't finished improving just yet. And at 25 to 1, I think he could be a decent angle into this race. He's a very in interesting contender and absolutely warrants plenty of respect off this sort of low weight. The dangers here are definitely the two Andrew Bolden runners, Frankness and Desert Copper prices. But at 25 to 1, I think Ferris is going to come back to form here and holds really, really strong each way claims. So just to recap the two selections for tomorrow, we've got Chief Mancato at 13 to 2 in the 225. And then in the three o'clock, I've got Ferris each way at 25 to 1. Just the two selections for Thursday's racing. But as I said, I've got a lucky 15 out for you tomorrow. A whole host of selections for Saturday. And then I'm going to be doing a preview for Sunday's action at Perth and Stratford coming out on Saturday night. So thanks everyone again for tuning in. Good luck with your bets on day one of New Market. And again, please don't forget to subscribe to this video. It does help me out a great deal. Thanks for tuning in all and I'll see you all real soon. Bye for now.